now we are tracking Hurricane Harvey, a Category 1 storm that is growing quickly, picking up strength in the Gulf of Mexico and headed directly for the Texas coast. This is where it gets real scary. Because of a squeeze play with high pressure, it's got nowhere to go. There's a high to the east, a high to the west, and Harvey gets stuck right in between them both. Hurricane Harvey was primarily a flood event for the pool. In fact, uh, as of today, we have over $100 million in reserves set up, but only about 10% of that number is set up for wind claims, leaving the remaining 90% for flood claims. An estimated 10 to 19 trillion gallons of water fell on the state of Texas during Hurricane Harvey and in the days of its aftermath. Getting your mind around that much water and how much it is is very, very difficult. We had uh, approximately 52 inches of rain in, a, in a, of course, a short period of time. And with the 52 inches came a lot of flooding. Uh, one of the interesting things was that a lot of the flooding we had was not in flood zones. It was in non-flood zones because it was more of just water falling and standing in areas and just getting higher and higher until it went into about 800 of our houses. We wanted to build trust and confidence with our membership. We wanted to reassure the members that we were there in the time of need. Definitely we wanted to make the pull visible and offer any kind of assistance and resources that we possibly could provide at that time. In this instance, our visits to the cities provided a trusted advisor that most of them had personal relationships with and also reassured the efforts that they were making as a first step in the recovery of their cities. This particular storm is totally different. Uh, TML came in, uh, assessed the damages, and I actually had some people that were available to start working on our structures immediately. Uh, this helped immensely because before uh, we got contractors pretty easily because we were the only people that were uh, really affected by, by that storm. Uh, this time half of the state of Texas was affected so there were no contractors available and we're extremely grateful to TML for being able to furnish us people that could go to work immediately. We want to make sure that all of our communities understand that we are not an insurance company, that we truly are their partner in catastrophic times and even in everyday occurrences. Once we realized that uh, the hurricane was going to linger like it did, we realized we were going to have to respond in a unique way. We hired a specialty contracting company that had relationships with all of the restoration companies around the country. And they were able to hire these companies and bring them in uh, into the worst affected areas and manage them in, in a way that uh, was very unique and very useful. The TML pilot turnkey program that we instituted uh, in the wake of Harvey was our effort to help our members recover from Harvey. It allowed them to focus their efforts on their citizens, their communities, getting them back up to speed, and allowed us to focus on making sure they recovered and got their assets back in to good condition. The turnkey program has been very successful. It's gonna allow us to get this fire station back into operation. The crews will be housed back in the station out of their temporary locations quicker than some of the other locations that are not gonna be covered by the turnkey program. I would recommend that, you know, housing authorities, uh, uh, folks that do affordable housing in the public arena, to really look at this process and, and look at TML and what they've done for us. This is really a great uh, model uh, to follow. Life goes on even after Harvey. It has certainly provided some stressors uh, to us, but uh, none the, nonetheless, our members have had a lot more, more stress certainly living it day to day than necessarily the pool has. What our turnkey recovery program did for our members is it put them to the front of the line and allowed them to get their projects started. Hurricane Harvey was like nothing ever experienced before in the history of Texas or probably in the history of the United States. Harvey brought a one in 1,000 year rain event. And beyond that, it was happened over such a large geographical area. And at the same time, Irma was occurring in Florida. 
This completely strapped all resources, uh, be they from the adjusting side, from supply side of equipment and of contractors. And so consequently, our program allowed our members to get to the front of the line and get their program handled as it should be. We were able to come in and take care of our citizens. Our citizens come first in the city of Katy, and that's why this recovery program works so well for us. Probably the most surprising part of this whole experience is that I'm just not used to an insurer who's about to spend lots and lots of money to treat you like a partner. And it was just uh, really uh, nice to, to know that you were in this thing together with someone else and they were actually working as our partners. The characterization of uh, an event of this magnitude as a marathon, not a sprint, is very, very accurate. Uh, certainly early on, it's a sprint. Folks want to get in, they want to identify damages, uh, they want to help the members as much as possible. The members need the help. We have had city managers uh, come and go. We've had staff at our individual cities come and go. Uh, we've had illnesses and sicknesses both within our staff and within member staff. Uh, so uh, the admonition of taking care of yourself uh, and taking care of your staff and taking care of your members in such a way that ensures the long-term interests are met, uh, not necessarily the, the quick need. So it is definitely a marathon, not a sprint. We recognize as a public entity risk pool, we are here to support our members in their most vulnerable of times. And the relationships and working together on hard issues during a time of uh, quite a bit of unrest and upheaval uh, immediately after Hurricane Harvey has yielded and branded some relationships uh, with our members that we we couldn't have had or been able to achieve in any other way.